Sketches of Life, recording Monday, April 29th, 2013. This sketch is entitled Jack Alert. The scene starts in an ordinary office. A large number of people are working in a cubicle farm. The scene focuses on Mike, a youngish-looking guy working, working in a cubicle in logistics. He is typing away at his computer. After a few seconds, a very attractive woman named Cassandra is passing by, wearing a very slutty outfit, or at least too slutty for work, with her cleavage showing. A few guys notice her along the way. She stops at Mike's desk to ask him a question. She does not look excited about having to talk to Mike. Cassandra says, Mike, did you finish those productivity reports? Mr. Garner needs them before lunch. Mike says, yeah, they're right here. He fumbles through his drawer, pulls out a folder, and hands it to her. She leans forward a couple inches to take it from Mike, and we get a slow motion shot of her breasts and cleavage as the exchange takes place. In addition, we see Mike trying but failing horribly to look at anything but her beautiful breasts. Cassandra then says, thanks, and walks away as quickly as possible in the opposite direction. Mike gets up from his desk, stands where she just was, at, was standing, and watches as she walks away, staring at her ass for a couple of seconds before she turns the corner and heads out of sight. Mike then walks quickly to the restroom, which is a few turns and about 100 feet away. He enters and sees that there is somebody in one of the stalls. His face reveals disappointment. Next, we hear an announcer's baritone voice coming over. Has this ever happened to you? The office floozy has just passed by, and now you're too horny to concentrate. But the, but the men's room is occupied, so you cannot take care of business so that you can get back to work undistracted. Mike then looks in, then Mike looks in the camera with a look of frustration, and he says, And even if they fire Cassandra... There's still Amy, Heather, and Angela to worry about. The announcer then says, That's right, and even if they all quit, your bosses are going to hire as many hot chicks as they can get through the door, because they're going to take one home to marry. And if you don't want to work in this, and you don't want to work in some boring office with only guys, do you? Mike says, No, but what can I do? The announcer says, Well, for just three easy payments of forty nine ninety five, you can order Jack Alert. Jack Alert is a tiny motion sensor device that you can install on your company's men room, men's room that will tell you when you have a free window to take care of business. First, you discreetly install the motion sensor just inside the door. Our patented Jack Alert sensor records every entry and exit from the men's room. In addition, our state-of-the-art technology can tell you whether somebody has come in or exited. As this voiceover is happening, footage rolls showing Mike affixing the sensor to the wall inside the door. It's a small electronic device. It doesn't look obvious, but it's not particularly well hidden. It's just affixed to a blank wall. The voiceover continues. Next, just set up the Jack Alert monitor at your desk. The high-resolution display will give you a clear readout of every movement going on in and out of the men's restroom. Jack Alert technology is 99.95% accurate in determining whether the men's room is occupied. The footage again shows the monitor, which looks like a smartphone with readouts. It'll say, perhaps, 11.40 a.m. entry, 11.44 a.m. exit, and the, etc., Jack is now sitting at his at his desk with a satisfied look on his face. Then a question or Mike, I'm sorry, Mike is sitting at his desk with a satisfied look on his face. Then a question occurs to him. But what if I'm already in the men's room and somebody comes in while I'm taking care of business? The announcer replies. I'm glad you asked that, Mike. Every Jack Alert motion sensor comes complete with a remote-operated smell release chamber. Just bring your remote control with you and press the release button, and the chamber directs a smell of rotten egg diarrhea so powerful that any visitor will be deterred from entering by the time he is within 15 feet of the men's room. The smell is so strong that it will linger for 45 minutes, more than enough time for you to take care of business and disappear unnoticed. And, if you're worried about the odor distracting your ability to concentrate, for just $14.95, you can purchase an attachable hose that will direct the smell from the console out the door so that only people on the outside of the men's room can smell this noxious, rotten egg diarrhea. Now footage shows a 
first a tiny little remote control with one button. Mike pushes the button and we see a small cloud of gas emitting from the motion sensor. We then see a picture of the hose followed by Mike installing the hose. He presses the button again and now the gas is being funneled away from the sensor and out the door. The announcer then says, and if you order now, we'll throw in a three month supply of odor capsules coming in a dazzling variety of soul crushing stenches, including rotten egg, too much garlic, Tex Mex, beef bonanza, and for a limited time only, the devil's waiting room. We next cut to a scene near the reception desk. Mike is standing away from the action with another male co worker. In the distance, we see Cassandra dressed again rather sluttily, and she's talking to a guy in a suit, one of the executives. They both have disappointed, should-have-known-better looks on their faces. Tisk tisking. Then another guy, Stan, is being escorted by a security guard toward the reception desk and out the door with a box containing his belongings. He takes one last apologetic look towards Cassandra and the executive. They sigh, shake their head very dismissively. Stan turns and exits a defeated man, escorted by security. Mike turns to an employee and says, What happened to Stan? The employee says, McNulty in accounting walked in on him jacking it in the men's room, ran, up, ran it up the chain of command, and, re, and he resigned on the spot. So careless. He got one look at Cassandra in a miniskirt, and he couldn't help himself. What a loser. Mike then, under his breath, says... Should have got jack alert. <clears throat> he then takes one last look at Cassandra, pulls the remote control from his coat pocket, presses the button, and makes his way to the men's room. The scene fades out on him covering his mouth and nose as he fights his way through the di disgusting odor that's being emitted just outside the men's room as he's getting ready to take care of business. And scene.